Axie Infinity is a play-to-earn game that has gained popularity in many countries around the Southeast Asian region. The game is essentially like um, Pokemon where each Axie has skills and they can battle in adventure and arena to earn SLP tokens. But with Binance banning Singapore users, this caused many problems for me as a manager because I do manage some teams and essentially my pay is in SLP, which is kind of hard to cash out. Or it will incur huge fee because it's based on the Ethereum network. So in this video, I'll walk you through how you can still cash out your SLP for cryptocurrencies that you want by using Binance. Hi guys, my name is Jordan and welcome to the channel where we talk about personal finance, cryptocurrencies and everything in between. So if you've heard of the game X Infinity, um, it's a play to earn game where you play games and you earn cryptocurrencies that you can sell for real cash or USDT. If you're in the game of X Infinity as a scholar or a manager, this video will help you a lot because you'll be able to cash out your SLP into USDT or any other cryptocurrencies that you're looking for. So before the Ronin network was introduced, the traditional way of withdrawing SLP was to send it from your Ronin wallet into Metamask and then into an exchange that accepts SLP. And this incurred a lot of fees and usually it eats into your profit from the game and on average it costs anywhere between $20 to $80 to perform such a transaction. But when Binance introduced the Ronin network, this changed the system because Ronin withdrawals were free and trading on Binance was pretty low cost. But when the 26th of October came, it was a D-Day for Singaporeans like me because we were not able to use the exchange for the majority of the functions that were available. We were pretty much crippled in a sense because there was nothing much that we can do on the exchange anymore. So, we are crippled. However, fret not, today we'll be cashing out some SLP from my October earnings and at the time of recording, Binance has already set the limitations for Singapore users so you'll see that a lot of functions are not on the exchange anymore. So first things first, we'll have to collect those SLP that the scholars have already accumulated through playing the game, pay them their share, and then we see how much we have left. And once we are in Ronin and we got our SLP out that we want to withdraw, we'll head over to Binance to get the deposit address for SLP. So over here, we got to select the correct network and in this case, we'll be select the RON network because our SLP wallet is in the RONIN network. Next, we'll go to the RONIN wallet and click send and over here, we'll be able to key in the RONIN deposit address that we got from Binance. I will highly suggest copy and pasting because if you are one digit or one alphabet off, the SLP might go to someone else and it's gone forever. So under assets, we will key in the amount of SLP that we want to withdraw. And for the sake of video, I'll be withdrawing some SLP just to show you the process. So once that is done, we'll double check it and triple check it because I'm Asian like that and once my mom is proud of me double checking and triple checking like how I was supposed to do during the exams, we will hit send. Transactions can take a while and during this time, you know, you could go make some tea, play with your dog or whatever you want and when Binance drops you a notification, we are good to go. So now that we are in Binance, the first thing we should do is to check our balance and ensure that the SLP is in. And to do that, we'll go to the top right corner where we see Wallet and we click Overview. Here we can see that our SLP is already in the wallet and therefore we are safe. So to convert your SLP to other cryptocurrencies, we'll need to head to the top left corner where it says Trade. But instead of clicking, we'll just mouse over and a drop down menu will appear and we'll select Convert. On this page, here's what we are going to do. We'll first search for SLP in the from box and in the to box, we'll put whatever cryptocurrencies we want. So in my case, I'm looking to change it to USDT because I want to have some stable coins in my holdings. 
So we'll key in the amount of SLP that we want to change to USDT and it will give us a rough estimate of how much USDT we'll get. So in my case, I'll roughly get about $40 to $50 of USDT from the 500 SLP that I have. And once you're okay with that, we'll click on confirm and voila. We have successfully converted SLP into USDT that we can use to purchase other cryptocurrencies. But if you're converting it to other cryptocurrencies, the process will be similar. Just select the cryptocurrencies that you want to convert and you'll receive it in your wallet. But something to note is that there's a minimum of 200 SLP before you can start converting. So I think this is a pretty short video. I do hope it helps you, the manager, your scholars, and the investors in X Infinity. Love that game a lot. Churning good money from it as well. And it would be awesome if you guys can drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.